So in the video that I made last night, I was talking about what if a woman came to you and she was bruised up. This is a video from another um, TikToker. But the question asks, what if a woman was bruised up and she came to you and admitted that she was cheating and the guy turned on her and started beating her? So my boy Lance, he went ahead and uh, had a pragmatic approach. He said, take it to a women's shelter, that sort of thing, and work with her to drop a few dollars so she can eat, but no, I'm not keeping her in my home. I think that that's the way that you need to do it. Look, just because you make bad decisions, I won't. We should make it our goal to want to be the better individual. Not because, uh, you know, we're trying to going to be the better individual. We're trying not to going to be legally liable. Because this woman is highly emotional. Now, you turning her away or kicking her out of the house, that turns her, you know, rage and stuff from the guy that beat her to you. And who knows what type of lies she's going to tell. She might say all those bruisings and contusions came from you. So even though you mad, even though you feeling somewhat betrayed, you need to going to be responsible. Simply because, I mean, even if that woman is in a vulnerable spot, she still has a higher card. She's a woman. People are going to believe that you put your hands on her before they went ahead and think about her lying. So yeah, work with her. Make sure that she can go ahead and gravitate toward another home or to her parents' home. But at the same time, keep it, keep it G. You can't stay with me. Number one, if that man is giving you the business and he cares about you, you don't give a damn about me. So what do you think he's going to do to me? Nah, you put my life in danger. So quite respectfully, I choose not to, I choose not to go and participate.